Welcome back to Infigyan friends. Today in this video, we are going to take up one very interesting Diophantine equation for non-zero integer solutions. Equation is x plus y equal to cube root of x plus y square times x square plus y. So let's get started by considering cube both sides. So I will consider cube here in RHS also. Now cube and cube root term we can cancel. Now what is left? In LHS we will have x plus y whole cube. In RHS we are having the product term x plus y square and x square plus y. Now I will use algebraic identity a plus b whole cube. So I will write a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square. Now RHS, expand it, x times x square, x cube, x times y, xy, y square times x square, so I can write x square, y square, and last term will be y square times y, y cube, x cube, y cube, x cube, y cube. Take all the term to one side. Let us consider all term to RHS. So I will write xy plus x square y square then minus 3x square y minus 3x y square equal to 0. Take x y common now. So x y if you will consider common you will have 1 plus x y minus 3x minus 3y equal to 0. Now conclusion time f dot g equal to 0. So we will write either f equal to 0 or this bracket g equal to 0 or this bracket 1 plus xy minus 3x minus 3y equal to 0. So we will solve both the equations for non-zero integer solution. Let's consider the first one. Important point is it is non-zero value. Integer but non-zero. Let me write the first equation x y equal to 0. When it will be 0 product of two numbers that would be 0 only if at least one variable is 0. So solution set would be 0 k x is 0 then we will write k 0 y is 0 in this case and third case is both variables are 0. But point is x and y both values are non-zero so we will reject this set. We won't get any solution from here as per condition. Now let us consider the second equation. It was, I will write 1 plus xy minus 3x minus 3y equal to 0. Now I will consider this equation xy minus 3y equal to 3x minus 1. Now take y common x minus 3 equal to 3x minus 1. So from here if I will divide both sides with x minus 3 as x is equal to 3 if I will put then equation won't give you any solution. So I am writing here y is equal to 3x minus 1 over x minus 3. Presuming x cannot be equal to 3. Okay, now let me consider 3x minus 1 over x minus 3. You can put this value over here also. If suppose I am putting x is equal to 3 here. See what I will get. 1 plus 3y minus 3 times 3 minus 3y. So I can cancel these two plus 3y minus 3y. See it is not matching. It is not solution because minus 8 is not equal to 0. So x cannot be equal to 3. So we can divide both sides with x minus 3. Now y is equal to 3x minus 1 over x minus 3. y is equal to 3x minus 1 over x minus 3. Now I will write our numerator as 3x minus 9. What I did? I subtracted 9. So I need to add also 
9 divided by x minus 3. Now from first two term 3x minus 9 I will take 3 common. So I will write x minus 3 and 9 minus 1 is 8 divided by x minus 3. So we can conclude it is 3 plus 8 over x minus 3. This is our y. Now conclusion point. We will conclude few points. See 3 is integer, y is integer. So this must be integer. Okay. Now if it is integer, then x minus 3 should carry the factors of 8. So the factors of 8, factors of 8, if I will write, then it would be plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 4, and plus minus 8. So we will consider these x minus 3 value will have these factors. So x minus 3 will be equal to plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 4. Then we will get integer rational value. 8 over x minus 3 must be integer. Now let's simplify or let's solve for the value of x. So from here I can write x is equal to add 3. So 3 plus minus 1, 3 plus minus 2, 3 plus minus 4, 3 plus minus 8. So if I will consider plus and minus values, then I will write 3 plus 1, 4, 3 minus 1, 2, 3 plus 2, 5, 3 minus 2, 1, 3 plus 4, 7, 3 minus 4, minus 1, 3 plus 8, 11, and 3 minus 8 is minus 5. So here we are having x values. Now we have to find out y value also. So where we will put this value? Here itself, this is our y. So one by one I will put x is equal to 4, 2, 5, 1, 7 over there and we will have our y value also. Let us find out. Let me write here. x is equal to 4, 2, 5, 1, 7, negative 1, 11 and negative 5. And our relation was y is equal to 3 plus 8 over x minus 3. Okay, let's put one value. I will write for x is equal to 4. What you will do? y is equal to 3 plus 8 over 4 minus 3. So this way we will have 11. 4 minus 3 is 1. 3 plus 8 is 11. Similarly, for x is equal to 2, y will become 3 plus 8 over 2 minus 3. So you will get minus 5. Similarly, for x is equal to 5, you will get y7. x equal to 1, you will write y negative 1. x equal to 7, you will write y5. x equal to negative 1, you will write y1. x equal to 11, you will get y equal to 4. And for x is equal to negative 5, you will write y will be 2. So here we are having 8 solutions. Let me write here. x comma y solutions. I will write 4 comma 11. Very first solution. This is 4. This is 11. 4, 11 then 2 negative 5, then 5 7, then 1 negative 1, then 7 5, then negative 1 1, then here we are 11 4 and negative 5 2. So overall 3 plus 3 plus 2, 6 plus 2, 8 solutions are there for non-zero integer solutions. I hope this video will be meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye friends till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself.